Hello everyone. I want to quickly describe another way that we can astral project, a more natural and instinctive way, which you may have done before through dreams. Uh, have you ever woken up from a dream and then fell back to sleep and continued the same dream? Well, a lot of people have, and it's quite common. Uh, and clearly, this is something that we can take advantage of for more conscious participation of non-physical experiences. Now, taking advantage of this ability to continue experiences like this uh, is not a well-known type of technique. Uh, just keep in mind, I don't like that word, uh, technique, especially for this episode, because it implies that you had to think methodically about what you're going to do. And this technique in particular is nothing to do with any step-by-step -step procedure. This technique requires no thinking at all. I want to stress the importance of that for this practice. The less you think, the more effective it will be. So, you know, many people have experienced at some point in their lives being in a dream and then suddenly they get interrupted and wake up and they might be a little disappointed if it was a nice dream and say, oh no, I was enjoying that dream right? I'm sure most of you have experienced this at some point. And what's less frequent, but still quite common, is waking up from a dream and then falling asleep again to continue the exact same dream that you were just having. Now, some people can even get up out of bed completely go to the bathroom and then get back into bed and continue having the exact same dream. Uh, they didn't think about how to do it. They didn't plan it. It's just something they do. So if you ask someone who has done this, you know, how they did it, uh, then they will just say they just did it or they just do it. Uh, they didn't think about it. They just did it. They had faith that it would just happen. Now, I'm not using the word faith as if to mean wishful thinking. I mean faith as in knowledge based in direct experience that you know within that you will experience what you will to do. Now, in order to do this, it is really very simple. Whenever you wake up, whether it was because you were interrupted by someone or something, or you just spontaneously woke up, you simply don't move your body and quickly focus back on the dream, on its scenario, sensations, characters, emotions. You don't think about how you're going to do it or follow any particular method. You don't become in a confused state. You simply just feel yourself back at the same dream. So you don't ask yourself how I'm going to do this. You just recall where you were and go back to it. Not remembering it, but going into it. You use your mind's eye, your conscious imagination with willpower to see, hear, and feel yourself in whatever dream you were just in. That is all you do. It may sound challenging as we talk about it now, but in those moments when you were just in a dream, you won't need to think about the dream because the scenes and senses of the dream and its environment will still be fresh in those moments. So you don't feel yourself in two places, such as in your bed and also in the dream. 
No, you completely forget yourself in the bed and only identify with the dream. You also do not imagine that you are imagining it. You don't think that you are thinking about it, but you really just go back to that dream. I know many of you will have questions since I'm not really explaining this in a logical or critical way that I usually do when describing astral projection methods. But, you know, just consider, don't you think it's funny that we dream every single night for a third of our day, for a third of our life, And yet, when it comes to thinking and talking about it in a linear and material, physical way, we cannot understand it, usually. Most people become very confused. So I'm asking you to try to surrender this thinking and overanalyzing it because it truly is a purely practical thing, and the comprehension is found in the practice, in experience. True comprehension is never found in thinking about it, in trying to fit it in with your own beliefs and analyzations and rationalizations. Actually, you will find that most linear egoic thinking is the thing that is not rational, because it's basing its rationalizations from its own source of comfort and logic, instead of trying to seek logic from our experiences. And so, for practical purposes, you have to lay down your thinking and instead adopt willpower combined with this higher vision, almost like imagination. I don't want to use the word imagination because it has become so disdained throughout recent modern times, right? So many people think imagination is just something fake, something not real, but imagination is a wonderful tool and there is a lot of depth to this faculty that we have within. It's just that imagination has become so engrossed in the ego and creating our own egoic realities and we've become so confused and this tool of imagination has become polluted. And so use this soul's imagination, the willpower, use faith, use intuition, use instinct. Again, I'm not talking about faith as in hoping that something will happen, but faith meaning you have complete knowledge about what is about to occur because you are willing for that knowledge to happen, willing for the experience to happen, not by thinking about it, not through kind of anticipation. You are just doing it. You are being it. Okay, so let's simplify and conclude this uh, phenomena and apply this more to astral projection specifically, because we've talked a bit about dreams and, of course, we all want to understand how we can have more conscious astral projection experiences. So I've told you now that it is possible to wake up from a dream and then go back to sleep and continue the exact same dream. Now, we have to recognize that within those moments, our consciousness is in a very open and receptive state in terms of accessing non-physical experiences. Therefore, whenever we find ourselves waking up from a dream, we are connected to these other dimensions of consciousness by means of our natural uh, multidimensional capacities as human beings. Okay, so in those moments, those doors, those portals of the soul are wide open and clear. This is not something to stress about or wonder about. It happens every night. It's just that in these instances, when we wake up in the middle of some kind of vivid dream, we can quickly take advantage of this. 
of this spontaneous window of opportunity to have experiences. In a way, I'm sure deep down somewhere, especially if you are actively, uh, you know, meditating and doing spiritual practices, I'm sure that when we do wake up from these random vivid dreams in the middle of the night, it's probably some part of us saying, okay, wake up, take advantage of this opportunity. And so this is kind of like the wake back to bed method, but I guess you could call it the wake back to dream method or wake back to the astral method. Uh, It's a bit more powerful because we're adding or we're experiencing an extra dimensional layer to this, right? Which is about connecting to whatever experience we had just moments ago. So this can be applied to waking up from astral projection experiences too. So many of you always say, I astral projected, but I woke up too soon. And by saying that, it already shows that you have closed off any possibility of continuing the experience. So you woke up, you told yourself you're an idiot or something, Uh, you're disappointed and perhaps a little sad, right? When instead, you should have not thought anything and remained receptive to your inner experience. Because you will find, if you are observant enough, that you can feel, intuit, uh, sense, that if you focus on the energy and sensations of your astral experience just moments ago, that you can go back there using the power of your will whilst completely forgetting your physical body, which will simply just fall asleep again as you will yourself back to your astral projection experience, okay? So you don't try to forget your physical body because that would be thinking about it. You simply just gather all of your attention on where you just were in the astral only. And eventually, you will find some way, somehow, that you are back in that experience. Now, again, I just want to stress, don't overthink this. When I say that you use your willpower, you simply just will yourself to do it. Thinking about it now, your mind might be saying, but how am I going to do that? In the middle of the night, when your mind is not so active and you were just in an astral projection experience, you will know, you will sense how to get back there. Now, of course, since you're going back into the dream or astral, hopefully more consciously, you do have more chance of becoming lucid, more conscious, right? But just remember that if you do find yourself going back into a dream, but you are still just the spectator and you don't have control over yourself and you're just fascinated in the dream, then this does not mean you are awakened. You are just continuing daydreaming in the dream, lost and just being led by your unconscious impulses and interests. You have to learn to control and awaken your consciousness within these non-physical experiences so that you can be a conscious participant of your experiences of consciousness at night while you sleep. And also, of course, if you find yourself lucid in the dream and you do have at least some recall or enough consciousness to remember that you can turn the dream into a full-on intense astral projection experience by astral projecting from a lucid dream. You can see the video which is on the screen now for just one example of a method I share for that. So everything I'm discussing here isn't something you can really plan. This is not a normal kind of technique that you can adopt at any time. This is more about remaining open and vigil 
and ready for when it happens. Because waking from dreams is spontaneous, right? It can happen at any moment during any time of your sleep at any night. So this is just something extra to be mindful of and set your intentions on so that you will remember to do it if you ever wake up from a dream or astral projection experience in the future. Now, with all that said, here's a more direct astral projection method, which is built upon the principles and mechanics of what we've discussed here. So just consider what we've just been talking about and apply it uh, to your practice. So whenever you wake up from a dream or wake up in the middle of the night spontaneously, simply lie still and begin to see yourself in a very familiar place. So you may have had a dream, but now that you've woken up, uh, the dream probably wasn't very interesting, or maybe you even had a bad dream. Um, Now you just want to astral project and you have more interesting things that you want to achieve in the astral. And so you've woken up, you're in the middle of the night, uh, you don't get up and you simply just lie in bed. And you want to recall a very familiar place, somewhere you know very well. Begin to actually be in that place with complete faith, without any doubt in your mind, be in that place. Don't see yourself there, actually be there. Feel your body in the environment, see small details on objects, hear sounds, touch things, walk around. I know this may sound difficult for some of you, but in practice, it makes more sense. But talking about it may not come as natural uh, to your rational mind. But when you're sleepy, it's in the middle of the night, you've already been dreaming anyway, uh, you'll be surprised how natural it will come to you. So you'll be in a very lethargic state because you're in the middle of your sleep cycle and your physical body will just go to sleep naturally. And through immersing yourself into that familiar location, whether it's a room in your house, a park, a garden, you will eventually find yourself in that environment that you were just intending to be in. Well, not just intending to be in, but which you were in, right? You were projecting your energy into that location. And that's it really. So whenever you wake up from a dream, you have two options. Number one, intend to go back to that dream and continue it consciously because perhaps it was interesting and you want to explore it. Or number two, if you don't want to go back to that dream, then select a very familiar place that you know very well and start feeling and sensing yourself there as you fall asleep. Feel your astral body in that location as you fall asleep. Those are two very simple ways we can have non-physical experiences. This is so easy and so simple that this is actually very much overlooked by most people, Uh, especially since a lot of people are very desperate to have astral projection experiences, right? And when they do have it, they immediately wake up in fascination and excitement and start thinking about the experience when actually, instead of thinking about that experience, they could have actually continued to have another experience. And this is how I've had multiple experiences one by one some nights. You know, I've, okay, I've had an experience. I've woke up back in my physical body. I keep my physical body still. And then I simply either come out of my body again into my room or I can feel, uh, visualize, sense that I am somewhere else while my physical body falls asleep. So remember, this is not just a wake back to bed method. A wake back to bed method is just getting up in the middle of the night, setting your intention, and then going back to sleep. 
this is more active, uh, more proactive in the sense that you have to take quick advantage of the opportunity whenever it arises. It could be when you are interrupted through a lucid dream or an astral projection experience. Maybe you wake up because you get too excited. Uh, This is how we can save ourselves that common disappointment from having too short of experiences. Uh, We can continue to have them when we wake up and go back to sleep. So this is not just wake back to bed. This has two more benefits, which is one, you are already in your optimal REM sleep cycle for dreaming, and two, you have the choice to continue into a lucid dream or astral project. Okay, well, thank you. As always, if you have questions, just ask below. I'm sure you will for this one. Uh, Just a friendly reminder of our Astral Doorway group. Uh, We have a voice chat meet up tomorrow night. So if you would like to join, simply check out the Patreon link in the description below. A quick shout out to Roseanne, Dom, Adrian, and The Traveler, who have all joined this week. And just before I go, just a quick heads up that I may be moving countries again soon. And if some of the episodes are dispersed on different days in the next couple of months, then you'll know why. I am very, very busy. (laughs) Okay, well, as always, I will see you on the next episode.